Gotti, who was hit with a lawsuit from a woman who alleges he raped her two years ago. All right. Shout out to Irv Gotti, the, the one who never got over Ashanti, Mr. Narcissism himself, square headed ass, the one who 50 Cent ended, well, 50 Cent and the feds ended his career. You know what always got me about Irv Gotti? He, he was a Puerto Rican that pretended to be an Italian. I'd never really understood that. Ain't he Puerto Rican? Or is he one of them Dominicans? Which one is he? Because he ain't Italian. He ain't Italian. Stay cheating on Deb. Stay cheating on Deb, his ex-wife. Stay cheating on her. Let's get to it. Uh, isn't his father Italian? Uh, Irving Domingo Lorenz. I guess that is Italian. Is that an Italian last name, Lorenzo? Well, that is. That sounds like an Italian name. What race is he? Hold on. Let me look it up. He half black? Irv Gotti race. He's black and Filipino. Why in the hell did he pretend? What? He's black and Filipino. <sighs> All right. So let's read this uh, this lawsuit. Plaintiff Jane Doe, by and through her undesigned counsel, hereby states by, that her complaint against defendant Irving Domingo Luenzo Jr., a.k.a. Irv Gotti, for a sexual assault and rape based upon personal knowledge and information. Jane Doe is an individual who was during the relevant time a period a resident of Florida. All right. And it says that Irv is an American DJ, music producer, executive executive. OK, that's 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 too many titles. <laughs> All right. Venue was proper in circuit court, the 17th Judicial Circuit in and for Miami Dade. Wow. So this, so this was a Miami Dade girl he graped allegedly, right? Plaintiff met Irv through a mutual friend at a poker tournament in summer 2020. See, in 2020, when y'all niggas was supposed to be in the be in the crib, Y'all asses was out here getting in trouble. Tory Lanez and you, Irv, that's your fucking problem. We supposed we supposed to all be in the house. Shot and problem. Anyway, Gotti invited plaintiff to go on vacation with him in St. Martin, to which she agreed. After flying her to St. Martin, Gotti coerced plaintiff into having sex with him. Gotti specifically threatened plaintiff that he would send her home if she did not comply with his demands. Accordingly, and due to his power and influence in the music world, she complied. Now, I want us to stop right there. So she met him at a poker tournament. Okay. They met. And he said, hey, I want you to go to St. Martin with me. Okay. Then when they got to St. Martin, he wanted to hit that. He wanted to hit that. And he said, if you don't give it to me, you ain't going home. Do y'all know how many niggas finna get caught up on shit like this? A lot of men don't know and understand. See, he don't, he don't think he graped her. He don't think he graped her, but it's another word they have for that. Oh, my God. I can't. Oh. It's not. Oh, fuck. It's another word. It's not quite grape. Another word for. Coercion. There we go. Co coercion. Thank you. Thank you. That right there is going to get a lot of niggas fucked up. That right there is going to do it. 
Now she was crazy as hell to hop on a plane with him and go to an island. They love going to an island. She was she was crazy for doing that because he could have did anything to her. And I mean, we never would have found the body, but nonetheless, coercion. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Mace with the mess said they finna lock up the whole nineties. That's what I'm saying. And if you want to be honest. He technically coerced Ashanti into a relationship. And if I was Ashanti, I would tag that ass with a lawsuit too. She probably just don't want to revisit it because, you know, she's about to give birth. She's married now. She just want to put the past behind her. But if you really want to be honest, she started working with Irv when she was a teenager. And they started having a sexual relationship at about 19. And he was writing her songs and her career was in his hands. Did Ashanti really feel like she had a choice? Shit finna get tight for a lot of people. Do you know how many women gave in and just gave the man some coochie? Because, damn, I'm out of town with him. I don't know what else to do. Damn, I'm... I'm here in the studio by myself. Damn. I... Let's keep reading. All right. Following the trip, Gotti and Plaintiff entered into a relationship where for two years, Plaintiff suffered constant abuse at Gotti's hands. During this abusive relationship, Gotti demanded that Plaintiff perform unwanted sexual acts and often berated and scolded her which sounds like Gotti. Notably in January, 2022, Gotti flew plaintiff out to Miami and the two stayed at the Four Seasons Hotel. There, Gotti forced her to perform oral sex on him in an elevator, Lord have mercy. Later in the summer of that year, he flew her out to Atlanta and he again forced her to perform oral sex on him in an Uber. Following this event, the relationship ended. So he got a kink for having sex in front of people. He has an exhibitionist kink. I see that already. Which I don't know why you do, Irv, because ain't nobody trying to look at you. It's always the people that ain't physically appealing that want to show off and, and, and get the dick sucked and hit that shit from the back in front of everybody. Let, let, not, like, uh, not like me. Don't throw me in this. Don't throw me in this. Okay, I would like to think I'm a little bit more appealing if I'm going to do it. In, okay. Wow. Damn, not the moderator drag me to. <laughs> All my shit's consensual, though. That's the difference. All my shit's consensual. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh Moving right along, because not y'all reading me for Phil. Uh, that's when the relationship ended. As a result, you know what? He really should have just got with an OnlyFans girl low-key. A lot of y'all niggas need to just get with whores and live your life. I don't know why I try to get... Anyway, anyway. It's like they try to break a girl down into being a hoe instead of just getting with a hoe. These niggas confused. I low-key think these niggas gay. Anyway, gay, gay, gay. Uh, as a result of this sexual abusive relationship, plaintiff has suffered severe emotional and psychological harm for which she had to be committed to a psychiatric ward. These injuries continue and affect plaintiff to this day. Moreover, plaintiff has been made aware that Gotti is slandering her to his vast social network in and around Los Angeles. Basically blackmailing her. All right. So she's suing for sexual assault and battery, intentional infliction of emotional distress. And she is demanding a jury trial, litigation costs, penalties under applicable laws, and compensatory damages, including for mental anguish, in an amount to be proven at trial that exceeds the jurisdictional limits of all lower courts that may otherwise have jurisdiction. Now,
here's the crazy part. A lot of y'all saying, why now? I'm so glad I backed up this camera a little bit so this shit ain't all on my face. A lot of y'all saying, why now? Why now? I'm glad for her to come out because I don't like Irv Gotti. He's an asshole to me, and I love to see narcissistic assholes get their just due. I don't like how he did Ashanti. I don't like how he stalked Ashanti. The only thing I agree with him with with Ashanti is that Ashanti can't dance. She started trying to dance like Beyonce, and girl, you never could dance. That was not your lane. You could not out sing Beyonce. Even when you sung that Whitney Houston song on Good Morning America, I don't know who souped your head up to do that. And I don't know why nobody else wasn't available. But nonetheless, this ain't about your congratulations on your baby. Uh, that's the only thing I agree with. You can never dance, girl, even when you were scooting that ass on Queen Latifah's show. You can never dance. But two years ago, Irv Gotti sold his label's masters in a three hundred million dollar deal all right he also received future funding for future media projects and was given a 200 million dollar line of credit Gotti finna come up off some of that money. He was, see, Gotti had been broke after all this stuff happened with the feds and Murder Inc. fell apart. You know, they, they the record label was never the same, right? But when, when all these celebrities had an opportunity to sell their masters, it, it, you know, about a couple years ago, because they know that the music industry is dead. They know AI didn't took over everything. So Justin, B, Justin Bieber sold his uh katie perry sold hers irv got he cashed in i'd have cashed in for 300 million too but baby you got some money you're gonna come out some of that money you're gonna come out some of that money you might as well settle don't go through no trial how much y'all think he should give her for her emotional distress yep future sold his Damn, I'm hungry. Oh my god, I ain't had all day. How much should he be, should he give old girl for her emotional? Said five hundred thousand, cause he got the money. Five million. I'm thinking ten million. You said two, two, five, ten. She may not get millions. Of, let's say five to seven. Let's say five to seven. If I was him, I would not want this out. But the problem is, too, I don't know how many of these ladies that Irv has been with felt felt like they got great. Uh, it's Storm Show. Hey, it's Storm Show. Storm show.